Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, tankers of Blitz Universe to the channel. We're going to take a look, a sneak peek at the Hori, the tier 10 Japanese tank destroyer which has just entered super test on the Russian server. I found a little bit of YouTube footage that I wanted to share with you. And let's take a look at the statistics of the tank as it is now. Uh, everything can and uh, might be changed because it is an open test at the moment. But it is, it, it's good to see this stuff. And then uh, take a look at what I mean, have on offer for us. And you can see the armor profile from the perspective of a T-54. Uh, I'm not sure if he's using uh, anything in terms of calibrated shells, but that lower plate looks really bad. The, the sides can be penetrated easily. Um, and we're going to take a look at the tank in Blitz hanging out and see what it looks like. And please do remember, this is all from Super Test on the Russian server. I wasn't able to find it on the Open Test 6.7 myself, but these are the statistics as the tank currently is in the game. And you're looking at the hit points that's lowish, 1750 in total, nearly lowest of them all in the uh, tier 10 uh, tank destroyers, as you can see. The view range 250, that is on par with most of them. But the DPM, well, quite good with AP, 310 on your AP pen, which is goodish. And as per usual, this tank gets an enhanced AP round. Um, it seems that all the Japanese tanks get it. At least the, uh, the, the, the mediums up to tier 7 do get that. And 380 for, for an AP, AP shell is not bad at all. I mean, it has a bigger normalization factor than APCR. It doesn't really have any problems with heat or HE. So that in that regard is good. And you've got an HE shell at 85 penetration and 640 alpha. Yes, this tank packs a 560 punch, not a 640 as you might want to think considering this is a nearly 15 centimeter gun. It's a 14.9 gun type, 96 as you can see. And as Wargaming said during the Twister stream in 2019, this tank seems to be a cross between the Object 263 and the Jagdpanzer E100. The rate of fire quite good above uh, 5 rounds a minute, just a little bit above. And um, this is all with standard equipment as you can see no provisions whatsoever uh, just the tank nothing added there dispersion factors well quite good seems to be a very very accurate tank after shot uh, as well not too bad gun depression that is bad six degrees 14 degrees of gun elevation and a slightly small gun arc seven degrees to the left and the right where have you, where have you seen that before oh yeah yeah one see you 100 there you are again Turret traverse, uh, there's no turret traverse obviously, but the traverse speed is, uh, well, seems to be the norm for tier 10 tank destroyers, uh, non turret tank destroyers. But you can see this, that the speed, that is pretty good. Backward speed as well, 20 kilometers per hour. Effective power to weight ratio, not that brilliant. And it is, it, it's fun to see how this works out when you when you're looking at tanks and then comparing them with, with other tanks, if you're on the top of the pack or in the middle of the pack. And the camouflage rating right there in the middle. Let's then take a look at the the model, the, the tank model itself. You can see it with all the armor. Uh, the more red it is, the more uh, thick it becomes. And as I said, that lower plate, that's pretty trash. Look at that, 170 mils only. Nothing in terms of angling whatsoever. Anything that will be shot at you at the tiers you will be facing will penetrate. And even the engine deck, that's 30 mils. Hello, overmatching. Top of the tank, 30 mils. Hello, overmatching. Any gun that fires HE at you will be able to penetrate right up over there into the engine deck or into uh, the back. Good thing, though, that the sides are at 90 mil, which means you can't be HE by any of the heavy tanks you will be facing, provided they have 120 millimeter guns. And, um, I think a VK-72 would be able to do that, and an E-100 would be able to do that. And the back is 60, so... Uh, medium tank drivers, you will have a bit of a problem unless you're driving a Centurion 7-1 because you have about 50 mils in penetration value normally and you do not get it above 60. So HE up the back will not be a problem if you are being brawled with uh, medium tanks, but it will much be a problem if you get brawled by any of the heavy tanks. You can see that frontally it doesn't pose any real weak spots except maybe for this little slither there, that vision slit, and then you have this little driver's hatch thingy with, uh, well, it's not much of a weak spot, really 200 mils, but that would be the weak spot to go for, and obviously the lower plate. This is 65 mils only, but if it's angled using maximum gun depression, that will bounce a lot, and same goes for this little bit. So frontally, a very, very formidable opponent, as you can see. And at a pinch, you could side scrape with the tank, with the tracks, 
with the 60 mils of side arm over there, 90 mils on the casemate itself. Yeah, looks like quite a good tank to me currently. But please do remember, it is still being tested at the moment, so a lot of things will probably change. Well, that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen, tankers of the universe. A quick sneak peek at the Horiden Tier 10 Japanese Tank Destroyer, which will be available in 2020 in World of Tank Blitz. My name is Martin Doger, I'll catch you all on the next video. Cheers, happy tanking, and bye-bye.